We're hearing advice from a local doctor and one of her patients related to what's known as a silent killer. Well, recently, we've covered here on Daybreak the changes to the numbers that determine if you have high blood right. pressure. Drew Blair is on the story this morning, had an opportunity to, to talk to these folks and also get a sense of just how many more of us may now be categorized as having high blood pressure. Yeah, that's because the new guidelines mean, and they came out two weeks ago, they mean 30 million more Americans now have what's considered high blood pressure or hypertension. They now join a Greenwood mom I met who was diagnosed while she was in what she thought was peak fitness. Holly Longshore was swimming for IUPUI at the time. She's 34 now but has been managing hypertension since she was 19 years old. She does so through her diet exercise as still an avid swimmer and medication. Her diagnosis came after a routine physical. She says without that checkup, she may have never known. Her blood pressure was 180 over 100. That's extreme. And doctors say, unlike Longshore, not everyone under the new guidelines will need medication. They say that's not what this is about. All of those years that I was borderline, I should have been paying better attention. But I think for somebody maybe in my situation newly diagnosed then they'll be able to pay better attention and maybe catch something sooner. This wasn't a push by the pharmaceutical companies to get more patients on drugs. It was a push by our heart societies, the American College of Cardiology and the American Heart Association to keep Americans healthy. According to those experts, high blood pressure is now considered 130 over 80. This is the first update to the guidelines in 14 years. Doctors are hoping that hypertension in the headlines this month will mean more people talking with their doctors about their risk. Kylie? Sure. Leads to more education and maybe more early diagnoses. Thank you, Drew.